Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. So for today's video, I am finally doing my nails. So I got some new products. I got some, a two pack of gel in a bottle builder gel. It is a clear and a pink. I will open it up when I get to that um, step. And it was a really good price. So it's just gonna be like a little testing video. So stick around if you wanna see how it goes. So first of all, I'm gonna take my little rhinestone remover. This is from Shein. It is the best. Now taking my cuticle pusher, gonna push back my cuticles, expose some more of that nail plate so I can do a better job when I'm cleaning up. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my medium grit five-in-one sanding band from AliExpress. I'm using this because I do wanna take off like the majority of this product. I wanna try to leave the nails on so yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I'm gonna turn on my fan. I have this on 22 RPMs. Wow. So I'm just gonna remove all this product. I think I put a peel off base coat. I think that's why that was so easy. I can't even remember, I did these so long ago. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to this cuticle bit. This is from Shein and this bit is really, really good. I love it a lot, great quality. So this I'm gonna put on like a six and I'm just gonna go up the cuticle area and around. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in reverse. And come up this way. So now I'm switching to my 80 grit sanding band just to remove a bit more of the product. Okay, and that's that. And now I'm ready for the next step for this nail, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do that same process to the rest of these nails. So now let's get into this. So this is from Amazon. Uh, I believe it was $8.99, I'm pretty sure. Here's the brand, really pretty packaging. So let's open it up. When I am editing this, it is now Prime Day, so it is on sale for a dollar off as well as 20% off. Yep. Ooh, look at how beautiful these bottles are. Shim shimmer, I love these. Okay, 
very pretty. What's this? Oh, it came with some nail forms, just those standard gold ones. It's a little bonus. Here is the clear. Oh wait, they are 18 milliliters. That's what I really, really liked about these, that it was a really good price. The size is really good and it's two different colors. Ooh, and here's the pink. I did my prep and my primer and I also did a base coat. I really love this packaging. It's so cute. So yeah, they say it's a luxury brand. I've never heard of this before. So this is new to me. So I'm excited to see how it works. So I want to use both of these colors. Well, not colors. I want to use both of these builder gels because I do want to see, you know, the consistency and just show you guys both of them. So I'm going to start off with a layer of clear for a kind of like, um, you know, my structure, my base. And I'm just going to wiggle some up as close to the cuticle as possible. And I am gonna hold it upside down. And I'm gonna fix this tip a bit. Cause when I did some filing, you know, things got a little weird. <laughs> Just do a little reshaping. This seems really good. Has a nice stretch to it. Okay, cool. I don't want these to be too thick. So just one application of the clear should be plenty. Now I'm just going to move on with the base for the rest of my nails. Okay, so I cured all these for 60 seconds. And like I said, I just wanted to do a layer, you know, to give it some structure. And I wanted to try out the clear and see how it was. So it was really good. I really, really like these products a lot so far. They're easy to work with. They self level really good. Sorry, I had an itch. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with a wet layer of this pink because I do just want to see how opaque it is. Again, just going to do another wet layer. I am actually really, really surprised with how good this product is for 18 milliliters and a two pack and for being $8.99.
here is the first layer of the pink and it's pretty opaque it's sheer you can you know definitely get sheer out of it but as well seems like it'll build up pretty quickly so now i'm just working on the cuticle area and that apex Got my thumb all cured up. Now I'm gonna move on to the rest of the nails. I am done with all the application and curing for a full 60. Just gonna wipe off the sticky layer and take a look. Really, really beautiful color. I love it. I'm really happy that I picked this up. It's so nice. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Enough staring at my nails. I'm gonna start off with a little shaping with my hand file. I am using the 80 side. You want to do underneath as well. Make sure that is nice and smooth. Right up to those side walls. Okay, so I'm going to use this nail file. I know I spoke about this before. Um, how I like to save some flimsy ones because for me, it actually helps me do shaping better. I don't know, <laughs> but it does. Okay, so I'm gonna go around the cuticles and I want the side walls to be round. So I'm just gonna go up them like this and then on this side as well just so there's no square edges. And then I'm gonna go over the whole thing. And I also like to go this way as well to make sure everything is all even. Okay, 
So we got a shape like that. I'm really happy with that shape. So let's keep going. Okay, I am filed and buffed and top coated. So a little while back, I bought these really cute chains from Shein. There's all different styles in silver and gold. But today I'm gonna go with this like classic like 90s wrapper chain look. <laughs> so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be using this super strong nail glue that I got in my AliExpress haul the other day. spider gel and I grabbed a toothpick oh god <laughs> because I actually don't want these lines to be too big um I kind of want to keep them on the thin side so I'm just gonna wrap around my nail in all kinds of angles but I don't want to make it too thick I just want, you know, that looks too, uh, like, you know, those swirls on top are too good looking. <laughs> so I'm gonna add just one going up that way. And then add one like that. that first I have this brush and alcohol I'm just gonna clean the bottom I'm just gonna do the same to the tips of all of these nails Okay, so I cured that for 76 seconds <laughs> to be exact because, you know, it's white and it's kind of thick. And now I'm just going to top coat these nails just so nothing sticks to them. So I want to tie in white on these two chain nails now. So what I will do is open up my white liner go up the side walls just like line the perimeter of my nails and then same on this side So for this nail, I am gonna do the same thing. All right, so now I wanna line the whole nail. I'm just gonna come along the top. Just 
Do the cuticle first. connect it on the sides. Just like that. I gave them all a top coat and now I'm just gonna add some bling to these things and I will be back with the end results. Okay, so here's the completed look. I just added some rhinestones and cuticle oil, of course, and this is how they turned out. I really like this set. It's simple, but still has, you know, an edge. <laughs> and again, these were really, really good products. I would recommend them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.